Big Five's Glenn Farley is live in Washington, D.C. with more on what happened today and the issue with the planes. Glenn. Well, one of the key pieces of all of this is automation. And I sat down and spent uh, some time with Maria Cantwell, our U.S. Senator, who is the ranking Democrat on the Senate Commerce Committee that oversees aviation. And you're going to find out a lot more about kind of where they want to go with this. But one thing is crystal clear. If you want to be the leader in aviation manufacturing, you have to be the leader in aviation safety. This is Washington Senator Maria Cantwell, the ranking Democrat on the U.S. Senate Commerce Committee. In both crashes of the 737 MAX, the one in Indonesia a year ago on the date of this story, and Ethiopia in March, a critical focus has been on automation and how the pilots were unable to react to the failure of the MCAS system repeatedly and violently forcing the nose of the jets down. And the pilots being assaulted by a cacophony of warning horns, shaking control columns, and computerized voices. Boeing accused of underestimating the ability of pilots to intervene. We start with, was there enough oversight by the FAA? The FAA has to understand next generation technology. It has to understand automation and software enough to basically have oversight and call into question some of the proposals that come before them. What are you going to do to understand the human response to that software? Which is exactly and where these ended up. Right, and that is why we need the FAA to have the best engineers to understand this. Both the National Transportation Safety Board and a multinational team reviewed the crashes, the airplane design, regulatory oversight, and looked at flawed assumptions about that human response, and also how the FAA has trouble recruiting and retaining engineers as technology and aviation becomes more complex. Cantwell proposing a center of excellence to concentrate that knowledge and understanding but did she get answers enough from Boeing today? I feel like the company said we made mistakes. That's always a first step in making the right decisions moving forward. Now, Senator Cantwell was also behind a um, establishment of a center for excellence around composites. Remember, composite materials are those plastic and resin-like golf club shafts, very strong stuff. It's not metal but it's used in most of the 787 Dreamliner now, and of course the new gigantic wings for the new Boeing 777X that are made up in Everett. Live in Washington, D.C., Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Uh, Glenn, I know automation is something that you're talking about too. You've covered this for so many years. Automation's been around for a long time, hasn't it? It has, I mean, you think of Autopilots, pretty simple. Those have been around for a long time. Those have obviously progressed. You think about auto land, where basically you basically tell the plane to land itself. <clears throat> but automation is also becoming more and more advanced. And eventually we could see where maybe you have one pilot. Nobody's proposing this right now, but maybe there's one pilot and the automation plays a role as a co-pilot in, in such. So what she is saying is we go forward in that world we need to be much more in tune with it and the regulations need to be able to keep up with that going forward. But of course, a lot of that is gonna take money as we go forward.